Chris from Hot Tech Tips here. Today we're going to be making a quick, easy weatherproof enclosure for a Leppy amplifier. We've done reviews on those before. This is a Bud K brand environmental enclosure. You'll see there's gaskets all the way around. As it ships, the box is actually airtight. Obviously, we have to get power cords in and out to be useful. But these are very nice enclosures. Uh, it says high box on the back, made in Korea, but on Amazon they're under the Bud K name brand. You can also lock them, although it's a plastic box, so it's not super secure, but enough to keep actors out. They also have these mounts in the back. And I will apologize in advance, it's South Jersey, our humidity is about 98% right now, so the camera keeps fogging up. So my apologies if the video is a little foggy today. So you'll see on the back of the box, there is lettering. I usually have the lettering upside down. There's no up or down on these boxes because there's a rain guard top and bottom. I like this orientation. I'm right-handed. Put the clips to the right. Just seems easier to me. Personal choice stuff. We'll start out by putting on our mounting clips on the back. This lets you mount the box to whatever without compromising the box or screwing through the back of it. These go on real easily with uh, just a screwdriver. But I'll switch out to a drill here just to make it quick. As with anything plastic though, be careful, don't torque it too hard because you can strip it out, especially when it's a metal screw going into plastic. Not going to super tighten those. We'll leave it some flexibility for later. I'll probably be mounting these to the back of scenery, if not to a tree somewhere. So open up the box here. I like to use these tightening plastic grommets. You'll see there is a thread on this side. I'm using about a 7 8 inch. This side, where the wires come through, inside there is a little rubber grommet. And once you put your wires through and tighten this down, the inside of this nut actually squeezes in and makes the hole a little bit smaller. That way you can keep out water, obviously, but also insects, anything like that. Just going to do a quick, easy hole up through the bottom of the box. Using DeWalt 12 volt tools. It's plastic, so I don't really need the power of the 20 volt tools. And here we go. Switch my tool into torque mode. There we go, nice and easy. Pull off the excess plastic. Just use a knife to cut off the excess here. Same thing inside. It won't sit quite right if there's a lot of excess plastic. There's not a whole lot of tolerance on the threading on the grommets for the thickness of this, so make sure that's nice and clean. Shake out the plastic. And here we go. So just thread that right through, slide it in, and then tighten from the inside. Now, this is a temporary installation. So I'm not going to go as far as siliconing and whatnot, but you could. But you can see very clearly we have a nice plug inside. There's only a couple available threads here. So that's why I was saying to make sure to deburr the surface, make sure it fits right. These usually come with rubber grommets you can put in here, but it doesn't quite fit the thickness of this plastic with the rubber grommet in place. So there's that. Now we can easily push our power cord right into it. However, at my application, I'm not using this power cord. I'm actually powering this off of batteries. So the wires will come through that later. 
typically I like to make two grommets, one for the power, then one for the audio wires to come out of. Just doing one for today, but on the finish down saw there will be a second in there, but a matter of time until I get that done. Here's the amplifier. I like putting it on the door so that way I still have room inside the box for various other electronics. I could put a controller in here, Monster Guts Nerve Center, a Fright Props or Fright Ideas, Peek Boo, anything of that nature. For mounting this, normally you'd obviously drill. Fortunately, inside, the pre-made holes don't quite line up. Plus, if they did, it would have this so far off center that it's not that useful. I like 3M, very high bond dual lock tape. If you're in a toll collecting state, hopefully you're not, you'll see this comes with easy pass devices that stick it to your windshield. This tape lasts and lasts. It's a very tough dual lock Velcro type, but also the adhesive is very high quality. So I measure out here, just a rough measurement. Use some tin snips to cut it. Those go real easy. I'll just measure off the same thing a couple times. I'm a little short here on this side, so I'm just going to cheat, fold it in two, and use up the last bit. All right. I like to stick it to the device first. It's a clear tape, so it's nice. You can see when there's bubbles. I have a good application there. No bubbles left. These two screws might get slightly in my way on this side. I'll take note of where they are. And chop them out real quick. Chopped a little more on that one. But we'll make it work here. Alright, make sure all the adhesive sticks well. And you can see when the bubbles are out because it's clear tape. And then we're going to adhere the back side of the tape to the amplifier here. The other beauty of this tape is if you need to service something or switch something out, it comes out easily. It's not like you've permanently adhered it. You don't have to get screw holes to line up. You can just put new tape on the device that you're replacing and you'll be good. Peel off the backing here. Which side up doesn't really matter, but I like to have the name brand upright. I'm not going to place it all the way in the bottom, just in case some water does somehow splash in. I also don't want it all the way at the top, because some heat will build up inside the box, so I'm going to go about halfway. And press it in place. Now you can see it's good tape. Holds up the whole box, no problem. So this amplifier will stick in here very well. We also left just enough room for the antenna to stick up. We're not using the antenna, we're using SD card. But it's there, just in case we want to listen to some tunes while we're building the haunt. So, there you go. Waterproof enclosure. Waterproof grommet. We can tighten that down on the wires once they're through. Nice, easy, ideal for trail haunters. Or even just someone that wants to have their electronics secure inside a haunt, in case you have a location where people may be able to sneak around the back alleys or whatnot or your access areas, your tech rooms, just to make sure things are secure and they're not going to be tampered with. Hope this helps.